I wonder if the options are always the same. Toruga, Nibblegar, the water type Koromon, and Cub Zero, the jack of all trades. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, AKA Drive. For you guys, a brand new series today. Today we're diving into a game called Koromon, which is available on Steam. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a Pokemon style game and I've heard some amazing things about it. I'll be honest, I'm a little blind going into this though. I don't know a ton about it, right? Um, but I'm excited to try it. I've, I've heard really, really good things from some of my friends and other people who have tried it. So let's have some fun playing Koromon on the channel. As always, guys, show some love. If you enjoy the new series, be sure to hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our Koromon series and other things that we do. And big shout outs to all the A-Drive Army members. You can join my website for free at adrivelive.com. And if you're a Plus member, which just costs five bucks a month, helps me out a ton. You'll actually get early access uploads on this series as we'll have it up a lot ahead of time. So we'll have many episodes ahead of time for this one is the plan. Um, so you can watch it early if you want to watch it early. You know, edit it down and all that good stuff. So here we go. Let's get it started. Chat needs to let me know I'm doing this live how loud the game is. But like I said, I don't have spoilers. So no backseating, no spoilers. Knock, knock. Okay. I guess I'm taking a nap. Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't close your eyes. Today is your first day of work at Lux Solus. Okay, so I get to customize my character and then I get to pick my outfit. I like purple. I'll go green. Uh, I, I do wear, fun fact, I do wear glasses. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, only when I'm, I'm uh, you know, watching TV or driving though. I don't really wear them otherwise. I'll go with this one for now. Gets a little crazy at times. Facial hair, oh, you already know about the facial hair, dog. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the black hair. And I can have a cat. I can be a bug catcher. Oh my God, I'm in love with it already. Is there even a bug type in this game? I have no idea. I don't know anything about this game, like I said. And I, I really, really asked the chat. Okay. Oh, I just got five hundred gold. Okay. What game should I play? Flappy Swirmy? Oh my God. It's a mini game in a video. I used to play this. We called it, we called it Flappy Bird. But this has got to be a coral mod named Swirmy. I'm already in love with this right now. <laughs> I'm so bad though, guys. I'm so bad. Oh, look, we're in another room. Dude, the mirror works. Dear Diary, tomorrow's what we've been waiting for. It's my dream job. I broke your floppy sweet. Of course you broke my high score, Dexter. My high score was 13, bro, 14. Good morning. Good morning, you're looking sharp. Oh, we have our own dialogue. You must be excited you're finally gonna be a Lux Solus Battle Researcher. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there after going to the station. Please keep an eye on the cakes in the oven. You know Dexter's not actually gonna do that though. Here we are. I do not look like my mother at all though. So here we are, a drive at the starting line of your own adventure. Look at you all growing up and choosing your own path. I'm a little sad to see you go, but I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, uh, you were dreaming working for Lux Solus. I do have a beard. That's why I got a little something. I've been saving up for this day. Don't spend it all in one place. 3,000 Gs right there. All right, well, let's hop on board. Do you have everything you need? Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear? I'm old, and you, I just, you get to talk in this game. I love that I just have my hat on, dude. I've got, I've got the, uh, you know, the, the bug catcher outfit on. And by the way, this is not sponsored. I just, I wanted to play this. All right, what do we got here? At Lux Solus, we offer trainers the opportunity to customize their experience. Most pick normal, but selecting a higher difficulty could be worth the challenge. I was gonna do the Nuzlocke, but I think I'm gonna go for the regular one. I'm gonna wanna try to catch the things that I want, things like that. So it says, looking for a challenge, you can choose something other than normal, but it explains everything for us here. So easy, we're not gonna do. Normal is the standard. If you want a challenge, hard will actually make it so you, if it faints, they're gone and you can't run. So, and then insane is all the Nuzlocke rules essentially. You only catch one per area, things like that. For this, because it's my first time ever playing Koromon, if I love this game, I'll play it again. But again, I was kind of on the fence about it, but because this is something I've never played before, if I love it that much, we'll just do it again as a, as a Nuzlocke. Uh, I've made all the necessary adjustments for you. You can return to the computer at any time. Oh, so you can change it any time as well. Can you tell me if you followed a Lux Solus trainer course before? No, this is my first visit. Thank you. Every battle researcher requires a gauntlet in order to carry Koromon safely around Velua. We have several color variations. Choose the one you like the most. I mean, I feel like I should pick the green one. Ah, you must be the new battle researcher. I 
I've heard so much about. Gideon is the one that'll get you up to speed. Let me fetch him for you. Hmm, it looks like Gideon's out for lunch, but no worries. I can take a quick break to get you everything you need. Follow me. Ah, uh, first, let me grab you a data chip. The data chip is a nifty chip for your gauntlet that will record every Coromon related action you take. All the data is sent back to us where it's analyzed in this very lab. As an incentive for sending us oodles of data, you'll be rewarded handsomely. Milestones and promotion bonuses can be de redeemed right in your menu. It's pretty simple stuff. I'm sure you'll figure it out as you're more comfortable. Six spinners, which I think are probably like Pokeballs. HP cake, SP cake, Lux recalls, type manuals. Oh, type manuals. So we can look at our type manuals. So here we go. So there's normal, electric, ghost, sand, fire, ice, water, magic. It says skill only. Foul, which is skill only, heavy, air, poison, and cut. But these are skills. And then these are probably the types. So there is no bug type. There's there's no bug at all. Which is very weird that there's no like earth type element, right? Sand, I guess, maybe is earth. I guess they just fall into those. This is ghost. Ghost is good against ghost. Very similar to Pokemon's type chart. Uh, sand is good against uh, is good against electric. Fire is good against frost. Frost is good against water, and water is good against sand. So water seems like probably the best typing then. Uh, you must be excited to get your own Coromon. You can head downstairs. Okay. Okay. The oh, Lux Recall brings you back. Okay. Oh, that smell! Uh, am I smelly? A starry-eyed battle researcher here to receive their first Coromon. Just hold tight while I finish the Coromon Connectifier. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Nelson, head of the Coromon Lab. Let's connect you to a Coromon. We'll run a series of tests to find which is most suited for your personality. All right. I don't know if I want one suited for my personality. I want to just pick. Okay, here are your options. I wonder if the options are always the same. Toruga! Very strong, loves to battle, can learn powerful moves. Nibblegar, the water type Coromon. And Cub Zero, the jack of all trades. I feel like I, I go with my boy Taruga here. Taruga. Oh, he's sick. He's a little shark. I don't think I realized that he was a shark. And then Cub Zero, very cute. Scratch. It's Shaws or Clarp. It's Shaws. It's Claws or Sharp that lowering its attack is impossible. I actually feel like it's down to these two for me. But I really like this little Tartu Tar Taruga guy. Shark seems good, but I think I'm gonna go with this, bro. I'm picking my boy Taruga. You won't get far with just one Coromon. Take this powder bit for extra protection. Why did I name him that? Because there's a guy who, who watched their streams. He's really nice. His name is Jimmy Tortuga. Uh, it'll activate your Lux Recall to take us to the battlegrounds. Hold on. Oh, we're just jumping into this. All right, so I still have to get this dude on the layout. So here we go. Don't worry, it'll be a fair fight. I brought my Nibblegar, which has the same level as your Taruga. Of course, he's got the advantage, but let's jam. All right, Jimmy, let's get it. Okay, I see you. Oh, he's so tiny. Fight, and then he's got Slam. It's fully rested and soaks damage. Okay, so he takes less damage because it's the first turn. And that's his ability. All right, he gets an attack decrease on me. I'm just gonna Slam again. We, we going aggro here. Big damage. Nice critical hit right out the gates. Come on, Jimmy. Hang in there. He's so tiny. Tiny little Jimmy. Muddy roar. My man's, my man's setting up in my face right now. He says I'm setting up. Nice. Another critical hit. All right. I just need to attack again. And you actually have like an attacking power here called SP. So um, that's interesting. You can't just spam the same thing because some are going to be stronger than others. Some are going to require more SP. So we get some XP. We're gonna hit level six from my boy Jimmy here. Get some HP. He's got good attack, good special attack. And he unlocks Cinder. Launch a small burning Cinder at the target with a 10% chance to burn. All right, you and your Coromon are gonna make a great team. I just know it. Remember that you can visit a trainer hub at any time to restore your squad. Thanks for the tip. Am I ready to catch some Coromon on my own? You can start by exploring Radiant Park. Wait, there's one more thing. Don't pass the bridge yet. The Coromon past that point are generally less beginner friendly. He can hook you up with a gauntlet module to keep you safe. Okay, you can find a lab at Radiant Park. Oh yeah, so there's a PC essentially. So yeah, a lot of Pokemon vibes, right? Like, obviously a lot of similarities. There's another chest. Shine bright. That's the Lux catchphrase. Shine bright. Am I going the right way? I just, I'm not supposed to go past the bridge. Radiant Park, okay, good. 
You gonna help me catch some water coromine? You're not gonna give me a fishing rod though? R&D lab, okay, so this, yeah, I'll, I'll come in here in a bit. I wanna see what kind of coromine are out in the, in the wilderness here. Our first wild coromine! Okay, look at this little guy, Armado! It's my boy Armado. Big damage! My man's concentrating out here. Might as well, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not saying he's gonna be on my team. I'm very selective when it comes to team members, but I'll catch this guy at least. You know? I'm very selective. Yeah, let's take a look at him. He is standard potential, common, normal type. Okay. Scratch and concentrate. It's thick skin, makes it immune to critical hits. Shell armor. Okay. So he's normal. I'm gonna name him Armando. Wait, I have this thing? He gave me this patter bit. This is normal. Slam and it has, if it has higher attack, it overclocks attack to match it. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, so it is, seems like that's, if that's what his base stats are, then that tells me that, okay. All right, what else you got? Oh! What is that? It's a potent! We got our first potent! I think, so, my understanding is this game has what's called potents and then perfects. Okay, so this is like, kind of like a shiny, but it, there's another level of this called perfect, I think. So this is basically a shiny. I legit just found this thing. What are the chances of one of these, chat? Okay, it's a one in 35 chance, so it's not it's not that crazy, but it's still crazy. Um, let's see like how good the catch rate is. Perfect is one in 3,194. Okay. Hey, we got the Silquill, let's go. He's normal, common, claw. He gives a pet puck to the member of the squad overcharging their SP by 15. And that's the regular one. And ours is, is very cool now. What a good start, man. What a good start. I I like it. There's a cool bug mine there. Now you tell me, dog. All right, I gotta keep looking then. Hold up. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't mind that kind of backseat gaming. Hey, A Drive, you might want to keep looking. Oh my God, the new battle researcher. Yes, who are you? I knew it. My instincts never fail me. My name's Larry, and I'll tell you the magical word of the gaunt world of the gauntlets. This way, please. Here we are in the gauntlet module test area. It's a, a uh, it's a technological masterpiece. Besides carrying Coromon, it can do much more. And it's uh, got new functionality on the go. Let me give you a quick tour. I started by combining a spark plug together with a flammable gas to create a combustion. Oh, he's gonna demonstrate it. My dude's just shooting out fire, really. All right. I'm Rigel, head of R&D. Let me explain everything in the privacy of restricted access. Because of possible radiation exposure, we require everyone to wear a lab coat inside. I got my lab coat and I got some glasses. <laughs> Dude, I look good. <laughs> all right, let's see what's inside here. This is a Titan task force is all about. It's called Titan Essence. It started manifesting in Velua a couple months ago. What does it do? It's up to this task force to figure that out. A team to which will be a valuable addition. You want me to join the Titan task force? Yes, we do. You showed great motivation that I had to make sure you were assigned to this team. Anyway, these Titan essences will slowly disintegrate without the right containment device. Recently, we made a massive breakthrough in our research. We developed a gauntlet module that brings us a step closer to understanding the Titan essence. This module, the essence collector, is able to stabilize Titan essence as well as a, a send us valuable research data. You'll be equipped with, equipped with the essence collector. Your job, in addition to being a battle researcher, is to assist us in the gathering of Titan Essences. So we're starting to kind of understand what our goal here is. We pinpointed the location of six Titan Essences. When we manage to contain them together, only will they show their true potential. All right, Tuco, would you mind handing me the module? The Essence Collector, handle it with care. Okay. The closest Titan Essence is guarded by Voltgar, the Bender of Storms. Do you see Donor Island on the Southeast? There, the power tower. Volkar bends the weather and guides thunderstorms towards the island. 
Before you can use it, you need to get it installed in your gauntlet. There's only one person in Velo who is able to work with that level of precision. His name is Perrin. He's a blacksmith in Hayville. How do I get there? You gotta cross the bridge? Okay. So I guess that's what we're headed to do. We gotta go meet the dude at the bridge now. Okay, I'm at the bridge now. The rumors, they're true. The new Titan Task Force member, it's you. I'm so happy for you. Let's celebrate with some stink module training. Well, normally there's a grass full of battle hungry wild Coromon. One zap, all the Coromon go scampering. You see that type of, uh, that learns by experience. Let me ex uh, install this. This is like repels basically. Make sure you're standing in the grass patch, and then you just do it. Hold your news, nose, and use a secondary action button F or C to stink away to your heart content. All right, fair enough. So let's see if this is a different patch of grass with different Coromon, maybe? Oh, Swirmy! Well, you already know I gotta get a Swirmy. You already know we gotta get ourselves a Swirmy, dog. Oh, he broke out, come on, bro. Why that gotta be so difficult? Got him, let's go. We got Swirmy chilling on the squad already. You love to see it. Okay, so someone in chat is kind of telling me spoilers to the game, which part of me prefers to not have, but I will take it on this one because I've already read it, so there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Potentia gets some points here. I don't actually know what to put it towards for this thing. So we're gonna evolve our Swirmy, I guess. Because again, I've already read what the chat said because, you know, I can't stop people from saying things. I'm also gonna deposit the other two, I think. I mean, he's only level three though, so I'm not really sure if it's gonna work, but I guess I can try. I have potions anyway. Oh, he really does just evolve mid battle, bro. Wow. I mean, I guess, how was I gonna know that? Oh snap, this thing is about to be crazy. Hold on, Wormy's a set. Let's go. Okay, Beazle. Okay. My dude just ascended on another level right there. All right, listen, I'm not mad at the guy for telling me because I have this unit now. Wormy has ascended. Uh, he just straight up evolves. Let's get it. Let's see what our milestones say. So win five battles, win 10 battles, evolve a Coromon, catch three Coromon, a potent. Okay. Sweet stuff. Yeah, his attack looks very good. Basil, basil. Basil, basil. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, well that's gonna be the first episode of our Coromon series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Show some love, like the video if you haven't done so yet. Thanks to everyone who's watching on Twitch. Be sure to become an A-Drop Army Plus member so you can get early access for this series. And let's have some fun playing Coromon. I'm actually really excited for this game right now. It's, it's really charming. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun over the next uh, you know, few weeks playing this game. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Coromon. Peace.